what is this thing? I don't know. It's a, it's a guitar, but it sounds lower because it's got bass strings on it. But it's a bass, but it's got six strings and it's tuned like a guitar. It is a bass six. It is a Squire version of a bass six. It is stock. It comes with everything you see here. I didn't touch it. I actually got this in a really uh, good buddy deal in a trade. And I just always wanted one, and it just happened that it came available, and I got it. So, how do you even explain this thing? Um, it's, it's definitely unique. And honestly, I really like using it because it has really good note separation. This ties in with the Jaguar video I did earlier. So, it has the same type of pickups with the little uh, metal... Um, surrounds on them but you have three pickups and so it's the same layout as a Jaguar so the switch closest to the horn does this pickup the next switch does the middle pickup this switch does the treble pickup and then here is the strangle switch just like the Jaguar so it's a Jaguar with an extra pickup in the center, strangle switch, and strings tuned down an entire octave below the guitar, and it still has a trim, and you can still play behind the bridge. So you can get all kinds of really cool stuff. Now, the cool thing about this is you can play it with flats or round wounds. These are round wounds, uh, so you get more treble content, and you can use the strangle switch to get the bass roll off. So for me, one of my favorite sounds is the neck pickup and the middle pickup and the strangle switch. And I'll go through that shortly. So I'm going to do each one. Turn the neck off, the middle pickup only. This has got a cool biting sound. And treble. Same thing with this strangle switch like the Jag. It is a high pass filter, so it basically shelves some of the low mud. If I were to guess, it would probably be around the 250 range uh, on the bass frequencies. Uh, so it would kind of shelve some of those. Now, again, neck and middle are my favorites together. <laughs> does a really cool thing there with the mid-range so you can still get harmonics you can almost treat it like a really fat acoustic guitar uh, I always go back to the acoustic guitar it, looking for sounds because I want to get the sounds from my hands and then enhance them uh, again I'm running through a line 6 helix I'm actually running through my guitar patch with the bass 6 okay so I'm going to use a strangle switch here to where you can hear that so here it is again <laughs> And just the strangle switch alone with the neck pickup really cuts some of those frequencies out too to where you can still finger pick and get note separation. Neck pickup only. Now here's strangle. Now 
now you can get neck and bridge. That's like a Robert Smith, the cure kind of thing. Now you can put the strangle switch in there. when you turn all of them on. Well, that's cool too. And you can also do the strangle switch with them. So that really scoops, but that's a cool sound if you want to boost it. I have a Klon model on this Line 6 Helix. So I'm going to, I've got every pickup on and the strangle switch. Now I'm going to boost it. All kinds of cool sounds. Uh, there is no rhythm circuit on this because I don't think you need it. Uh, that would be way muddy. So you basically just have this lead circuit and the strangle switch and the volume and tone, which does wonders. So I'm going to take the strangle off, turn the middle pickup off. So it's neck and bridge. Put a little more reverb on it. And you can, I'm going to do sacrilegious things here. I'm going to put a capo on a bass guitar, right? Uh, if you haven't seen anybody do that, Michael Manrink does that. He played bass with Michael Hedges. And uh, Michael Manrink is one of the most interesting bass players alive, uh, along with Tony Levin, along with Tony Franklin, along with Victor Wooten, along with O'Till Burbage, uh, along with um, Billy Sheehan. Billy Sheehan's a beast. Uh, there's so many really, really amazing ones. Uh, I'm leaving a ton out right now because I'm a guitar player, but I totally love listening to all kinds of music. All right, so. That's a little too rumbly. You can put the strangle switch on that. It cleared it up. the solo. Cool. Um, 
I like arranging tunes. Um, I have my own songs. I play this exclusively. So this and drums, and you can use time based effects like delays and reverbs and get an enormous sound. Uh, and then loop bass and lead bass and vocals and just have somebody on percussion. It's really, really a cool thing, but just to kind of practice with what the bass is capable of or the bass six, you can try and arrange popular songs. So, you know, landslide was one of them and, uh, let's see if you can spot this one. <laughs> So that's a fun little exercise. I always do that with new instruments. I just try and play things that I already know pretty well uh, and then kind of chase those sounds down and see which ones can work with other things. Um, if you noticed on that, I played closer to the bridge. That's, a, that's an old acoustic instrument trick where obviously if you're playing closer to the neck, I'm going to take the strangle switch off so you're hearing uh, neck and bridge now. So if I'm playing close to the neck, you're going to get rounder sounds. And if I play in the middle, Play back here. A lot of people, when they play lead lines on this, will play towards the back. Take a little reverb off. Yeah. Um, then you can be totally um, back here on the treble pick. And you can roll the tone back. I usually start all the way off and then roll in some. But honestly, that's like something Lemmy would do playing... Uh, ace of spades, right? You know, running through a marshal. So totally cool. That's that kind of sound. Uh, I'm not playing in that kind of outfit to get that kind of sound. So for me, I really like the, the mellow um, arpeggiated side of this bass. <laughs> Also have rhythmic delays.
So maybe that'll give you a couple ideas about what to do with this crazy thing. Um, the sky's the limit. It's basically, uh, it plays well with a lot of different effects and uh, it takes fuzz. Uh, you can do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. So I'll just play us out with a loop. Thanks for checking it out. I appreciate all the new subs. And I have uh, more lessons coming up. I got lessons with actual technique. I got lessons with gear. I got lessons with guitars. And I'm combing through comments on different platforms. And that gives me ideas for other lessons. So if there's something that I could explain better or more in depth, just send me a message for that. Uh, that'll be helping me out. So thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it.